成百花开，花开朋友来，鲜花伴美酒，欢聚一堂抒情怀。新朋老友，新朋老友常相待，新意春常在。来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来,来。携起手来，把友谊的金桥架五洲，哦架五洲，丝绸之路通四海，山珍处也深，山珍秋也深，世上有多。多少美丽的夜，在这里扎下根。无论你是新来的客，无论你是久住的人，深圳，深圳，深圳，深深。Hello, let's stop the door again. This video is outside of medicine, continue with folk songs. I have two songs here about the city. Oh, I do not know. The first one is called the Flower City. I do not know what city it is. Uh, it's just uh, uh, called, it's just said the Flower City. Um, a lot of flowers and a lot of friends, international or domestic, they come to visit and uh, old friend or new friend and uh, 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 that uh, everybody come, come together during this uh, special event I guess and then um, said the, the Silk Road will uh, connect it uh, all corners of the world. Uh, the second one was about the Shenzhen. Uh, probably you heard it. Shenzhen was a a city across from Hong Kong. Uh, that's the first uh, city that uh, I think uh, President Xiaopingdeng set up a model of the uh, with unique way to manage before the 1997. Um, uh, I do not know much about the city, but this song I think was from 1980s because in 1979. He decided this policy to build a city across from Hong Kong, and uh, probably it was it used to be very remote, a little village in Guangdong Province next to Hong Kong. Since it, it is it was a border, so probably not uh, very well built, not very established, just a village. But later on, he uh, just uh, decided to uh, build a city uh, from nowhere, from nothing. It's just the uh, a remote uh, a village, a lot of fishermen. That's how they live, and the the city was, uh, I think, raised up in the uh, actually uh, overnight. Just another uh, overnight, just very quickly, the city was built. It was the most pros prosperous city in the country at that time. Uh, a sublime. The others like Beijing or. Guangzhou or Shanghai or Tianjin or other or Chongqing other uh, cities that which the level of the province. So this city was not big, not huge, but uh, the style of the city was a really modern style. All the other cities followed it later on, like Shanghai, uh, very well developed later on because of this model, uh, using the policy, uh, the policy in this uh, city. Uh, what it was built is different because it just encouraged the Hong Kong people. Huh? Curren uh, currently, it's still, if you want to go to Shenzhen, when the city was built, it's not uh, not everybody is allowed to go there, uh, either work or dwell. And later on, because the city was new, need a lot of immigrant, not immigrant, uh, need a lot of migrations, so that a lot of inland people uh, uh, moved there to contribute to the building, uh, the city, and also to economic development and live there. So the Shenzhen is like a, a small size of the United States. A lot of people from 
all over the country or even the international people. So that's about the the song was I think written in the early of uh, 80s after uh, 1979 still encourage people to go there to make contributions to build. Um, so this city was very well built in 1990s um, until 1997 ready to take over Hong Kong. So that's the purpose for the city and currently the city is still one of the top uh, rich city. Um, uh, a lot of people, uh, The in terms of the weather it's similar to Hong Kong because just across the, uh, the sea. And uh, uh, in terms of the weather, probably similar to Florida here, it's, uh, it's at the southeast of the country. Um, so this is about the song, the set, the second song. In terms of the lyrics, it's very, it's, uh, it's uh, just written. I don't think it's a poem. The first one or the second one. In terms of music, um, I think the second one is a little emotion, a little slow, uh, with a little thought. I think a thought about the this new city, new style, um, with the new uh, freshness of the energy. Uh, so that's the music, I think, has this component. And the first song, I think, was kind of early. I do not know the city refer to what is the flower city, where it is, or just the song for the city to, to sing about the flowers in the city. It's beautiful. So that's about the the two songs I presented here. Again, the purpose for this video is hope to look back of uh, the songs of 1980s or 1990s, early time, and see whether it can help you to compose your music or to give you some idea or triggering to think more about the, in terms of lyric or in terms of writing stories. So that's the purpose for this video, and I hope it, it um, serve that purpose. Uh, again, my main make or my presentation is not accurate, it's not close uh, at all. I just give you some idea. In 1980s and 1990s, there's some songs are quite uh, emotional and beautiful. The lyrics or the music, the both are very unique. So I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.